For the longest time, animation was and still a tough skill to learn and involved a lot of discipline in addition to a ton of knowledge and know-how. Not to mention the understanding of animation fundamentals and all the baggage that comes with crafting a great animation. Needless to say, it ain't easy. However, one software that has been making the rounds lately and is getting more and more notoriety by the day as I see more and more artists incorporating it into their workflow simply because it is that useful. So how do I describe Cascador? Basically Cascador is an animator's dream come true. The software is built by animators for animators. We already did a video about it a few months ago, but this beast of a software is coming back with even more powerful features optimizations and other stuff. I know you might think it is not very appealing, but trust me, the software could be the industry standard in a couple of years. Alright, that was a lot of yapping, but Cascador, what is it and what does it do? Well, it is an AI powered animation software that attempts to help animators achieve better animations and save you headaches and of course time, but utilizing a couple of features such as but not limited to quick rigging tools, auto posing, and auto physics. If you want to learn more about these features, you should watch our last video. But for people who just want to get up to speed, auto posing, as the name suggests, helps you nail those extreme poses quickly by automatically helping you move joints around, which is really powerful. Auto physics, on the other hand, is the star of the show. This makes any animation physics accurate. What that means is, say, you just have a very simple block out of your animation. Auto physics will come through and add a layer of secondary motion, weight, follow through, and all those details that make the animation look intricate and realistic, all based on real physics properties. And here are some examples on the screen. Think of it as face beautify filter for animation. On top of that, all these features come with a ton of controls and adjustments so you can dial in the effect exactly as you want. In this 2024.1 release, Cascador is capitalizing on its strength by enhancing existing features and introducing some new needed ones. This release, which was planned to be available in March, is gonna be shipped with three major features, animation and baking, animation retargeting, and auto physics upgrade. Animation and baking will allow you to turn any baked animation into an editable one. Think of it as a reverse engineering of baked animation. Usually with motion captured or just exported animation, you are stuck with a timeline, which looks like this. You can see that there is a keyframe on each single, well, single frame. This makes the animation virtually impossible to edit. But with this new feature, you can basically flip a switch and let the software determine the keyframes and choose the best interpolation between them. So you can easily turn this into this in no time. Animation and baking requires a few steps that you can execute with one push of a button. But you can also execute these steps individually, which will give you more control over the behavior. Basically, you're gonna first prepare your fulcrum intervals and make sure that they are timed correctly. Next, you can pick an interpolation method between IK or FK+, adding keyframes where needed to keep the animation consistent. Lastly, minimizing noise and movement jitter by adding auto pose rig. But realistically, say if you grabbed an animation from any asset library or website like Mixamo, in most cases to make the baked animation editable, all you need to do is push the unbake button and Cascador will do that for you. But you can also adjust some settings to get exactly the interpolation and how many keyframes you want. This will allow you to edit the poses, change timing, apply auto physics, etc. Also, this version saw an upgrade for auto physics, which got a massive upgrade both visually and functionally. Now, it allows the character to interact with the environment, so now you can animate those parkour tricks, bounce or climb the stairs, and even interact with moving objects. In addition to the controls for auto physics, which are now simplified to only four simple sliders, trajectory, rotation, motion compensation, and secondary motion which takes things to the next level. I can't get enough of auto physics because this feature really hits the mark for me and it is only getting better from now on. Animation retargeting is another awesome feature that is gonna be shipped with this new version. 
and the whole retargeting process has been simplified to a simple copy and paste and can work with humanoid characters no matter the difference in proportions and skeletal structure, which is built on the auto-posing rig that also can be created easily using the quick rigging tool, not to mention a ton of performance and visual improvements here and there. And when it comes to licensing, this version will have four licensing types, which are free, indie, pro, and educational. Cascadro Free is gonna be perfect for hobbyists and beginners who wanna try the software. It gives you access to all major features, including the latest animation and bake. However, you can export to any format but Cask format, which is Cascador's proprietary format. The indie license will be $99 a year. For animators and small studios with revenue under 100k per year. This will include features from the free license with the added benefit of being able to export to FBX, DAE and USD format. The pro license is gonna be $399 a year or $49 a month and this will include all the features from the indie license plus access to advanced features such as animation retargeting and interacting with the environment. The Pro License is the only plan that has a limited commercial use and offers dedicated chat support with prioritized customer service. Finally, the Education License, which is aimed at students, teachers, and educational institutions. It will go for $39 a year, so maybe it is time to go back to school now. I feel like Cascador is gonna be the next big thing in the industry, and I think you should try it because it is really good. So if you want to try Cascador and learn more about the new releases such as animation and baking, retargeting and all those good stuff, you will find the links in the description down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.